All right, so obviously I had to stop by the Razer booth at CES this year just to see what kind of crazy concept project they had this time. And of course, they did not disappoint with their new project, Linda. This is pretty interesting, and I'm really curious to hear your guys' thoughts on this one, so be sure to blow up that comment section when you get a chance. Basically, what we're doing here is we're integrating their Razer phone with a custom laptop dock. And uh, it's essentially supposed to bring your mobile experience into the form of a laptop. I mean, basically, the laptop itself is more of a dummy computer. It doesn't really have much in it other than a battery. Um, it's using the phone's processing power for pretty much anything, which means the laptop does not work without the phone. Uh, but that also means that it doesn't need any ventilation or fan, so it remains completely silent. It doesn't even need speakers because it just uses the Razer phone speakers, which, as we all know from all the reviews, are really freaking good. Uh, so that's kind of cool. It's very light, very silent, and it does contain a battery, however, the laptop docks. So you could charge your phone while it's docked. That's kind of cool. I don't know exactly what the milliamp hours are. They, they weren't really clear on that, or they haven't really decided or settled on a battery solution. But it's likely that the battery will be user serviceable, which is a huge plus. There's also a built-in antenna booster just to keep the service disruption to a minimum and uh, improve signal overall. After all, you are putting a phone inside of a giant hunk of metal. The laptop dock essentially uses uses the same chassis as the Razer Blade Stealth. Uh, although it's a little bit thicker on this portion here just to keep flush with the phone. Um, the dock itself is using USB 3, uh, not USB 3, USB Type-C, which is of course the same port as the phone itself. You get a full-size RGB keyboard with nice chiclet style keys, and uh, they've actually replaced the F bar at the top with, uh, with a bunch of Android functions that users of the platform will likely find handy. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Now, as you might safely assume, the phone can be used as a trackpad to help navigate around the Android UI. Um, it can also be used as a secondary screen. This is sort of the direction, the vision that they have with this product is that you can be gaming on your main display, but have like your menu item or your item menu, <laughs> your items menu uh, on, on the phone. Or let's say you're working with Photoshop and you have all your tools on that 5.7 inch display. Um, so that's actually pretty cool. I like that idea a lot. Um, I just hope that, you know, while you're typing and stuff, you don't accidentally press any of those things on the phone. Hopefully there's like sort of a quick, you know, disable the touch screen on your phone type of thing. So that sort of thing doesn't happen. The display itself is 13.3 inches. It's got a quad HD touch screen and it is 120 Hertz to match the phone. So you get a seamless experience regardless of which one you're looking at. Um, so that's actually really nice. Um, overall, I'm pretty excited to see this come to the market. And uh, I think it's, I think the, the big challenge here is what happens when users want to upgrade their phone to something that's not from Razer. Or maybe, you know, the second generation Razer phone won't be exactly the same in size and dimensions and shape and stuff like that. So I'm um, seeing some issues here just uh, at the beginning, but I think the concept, the idea is pretty cool. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, toss me a like on the video if you enjoyed it and be sure to get subscribed if you haven't already so you don't miss any more of my coverage here at CES 2018. Thanks again, guys. I'll see y'all in the next video.